In this tutorial, we will show you how to install a Word file. By default, UltraEdit supports syntax highlighting for several of the most popular programming languages. But what if you work with a language that is not displaying syntax highlighting? If you don't see highlighting, then go to www.ultraedit.com and then hover the mouse over Downloads, move down to Extras, and finally click on Word Files. Here you will find hundreds of available languages for syntax highlighting. Today we are looking for a SAS Word file. When you find the Word file that you're looking for, the best way to save the Word file is by right-clicking and selecting Save Link As. In the Save As dialog, type percent app data percent and press Save. This will take us to where we can find the Word files directory. Double click on IDM Comp, Ultra Edit, and finally Word Files. And now you are in the correct location for saving a Word file. Go ahead and click Save. Now that your Word file has been saved in the correct location, go back to Ultra Edit and notice the coloring has not yet taken effect. Simply restart Ultra Edit, and now you will see the syntax highlighting. One of the most common problems for installing Word files is that Word files get saved to the wrong location. To verify where UltraEdit is looking for Word files, go to Advanced Configuration, Editor Display, and finally click on Syntax Highlighting. Here you will find the full path to where UltraEdit is looking for a Word file. Confirm that it is looking in the correct location which we just demonstrated. Finally, if you're using UltraEdit for Mac or for Linux, here are the default locations for storing Word files on those operating systems. We will provide these paths in the description of this video. We hope this tutorial will help you take advantage of the many Word files available for syntax highlighting.